Get Sports Focus is presented by Dr. Ting, sports medicine and orthopedic surgery. Kaylee Chris here with Coach David Shaw from Stanford. Coach, Coach Shaw, tell me about the guys that you brought with you today and how have they improved in the last five years they've been on the team? Well, you know, uh, start with Ronnie Harris from Atlanta, Georgia. You know, Ronnie's always been a spark plug. He's always been one of those guys, very energetic, high, high tempo, high energy guys um, that found his way on special teams and, you know, wanted to play on the defensive side and didn't, didn't quite have a role and wanted to rotate in there, but he worked extremely hard. We got to the point last year where we needed we needed his play, and he came in and competed at the top, at the at the corner position and earned a starting spot, and he played extremely well down the stretch uh, the rest of the year. So he's one of those guys that's going to his fifth year that we're looking at as a leader. Um, he's played extremely well off the on the field and has been a leader academically also off the field. So he's one of those guys that we can point to and say the way that Ryan does is the way that it should be done. Um, Kevin Astor in a similar light. Uh, Kevin has been a was an outstanding high school football player. Um, most people that recruited him referred to him as the energi Energizer Bunny. The guy just never stops. He's relentless. He just keeps going and keeps fighting. Uh, and he's shown that for us. And even with uh, by being behind different All-American guys, whether it was Chase Thomas or whether it was uh, um, Trent Murphy, he's always been that guy that will come in a few plays a game and still make something happen. And now, you know, he's not that guy behind those other guys now. Now he's a leader for us. Now he's... He's setting the tempo for everybody else so we can have a whole bunch of Energizer Bunnies out there. Hopefully the rest of our guys can keep up with them. Great. Now, obviously there's a lot of added pressure on the defense this year. So tell me about how you improved in the spring and what you still need to do going into fall camp. I think the biggest thing for us is get our guys ready to play. Um, there's going to be a lot of competition. There may some, be some guys that rotate in. We'll see. Um, I think in spring we saw our guys defensively step up. They answered a lot of questions. I think our defensive line played extremely well, even with all the question marks and even with Aziz being hurt throughout spring. Our guys played extremely well. Um, Secondary-wise, we're going to have some youth, but we have also two veterans back there uh, in Cody Whitfield and Dallas Lloyd that are fourth-year seniors that have played some football for us, um, so it's not too big for them. Um, I think we have competition at one corner position, uh, but at the same time, we have our nickels back, Terrence Alexander from last year, so we have some guys that we, we trust and that we believe, we believe in. There are going to be some guys that don't have the number of starts behind their names, but we think they're talented, we think they're capable, and uh, we'll see how things go in training camp. Now, in the Pac-12, you have one of the hardest non-conference schedules this year. So tell me about what game you think will be the most difficult and what games you're looking forward to. You know, I think the lesson we learned from last year is that we can't look past anybody. Um, and it sounds very Bill Belichick-like, but we need to concentrate on the next game on our schedule because anyone on our schedule can beat us uh, and we can beat anybody on our schedule so the key is for us when that calendar rolls around to that game day that we're at our best playing our best football because um, that's what it's going to take for us to beat anybody on our schedule and last season usc notre dame you lost those games by three points so now how disappointing was that and what impact did that make on the season for me it wasn't just losing which we all hate to lose it was the fact that we had opportunities to win that we didn't take advantage of those opportunities. It's one thing if you lose a game and the other team just smothers you and they don't give you an opportunity. We had multiple opportunities to win those two games as well as Utah. The other team made the plays that we didn't make to win the game. And that's the thing that, that sticks, sticks in your gut as a coach. So the, the thing going into this year is, okay, now how do we get back in those positions and now make the plays to win football games? So that's really what our focus is, is to really make sure that in those tight games, those fourth quarters or overtimes, we're making the plays to come out on top. Now you've talked before about playing your A game and never playing your B game. Now, when it comes to having such a tough schedule, especially at home with the Pac-12 conference, back-to-back -back games in your conference, how do you win those games? Um, so it does take some management throughout the season because, trust me, we're going to get after in training camp. We're physical. We're going to play nine on seven. We're going to tackle. We're going to be very, very aggressive, very, very physical. But during the course of the year, you have to be wise. You know how much we're going to practice, how hard we're going to practice, how physical we're going to be. We're still going to do it during the course of the year, but there are going to be times we have to back off a little bit because we need to come back to game day and be at our best. Now, that's not a softening at all because we're still going to go hard, but we also have to make sure that we're fresh and ready to go every single game day. Now, big game coming to home at the farm this year. How excited are you for that? Oh, very excited. You know, I think uh, this area kind of comes alive during big game week. There's a lot of stuff that happens. Um, there are a lot of alums on both sides that know each other very well, some in the same household. Uh, there's a lot of talk that week. Um, what I love about it is it's a spirited rivalry, but at the same time, um, it's a respectful rivalry. 
Uh, I think both teams respect what the other place does, both academically and athletically. Um, and one game, one day a year, we hate each other and get after it. Uh, but it should be a fun game. Great. Thanks, Coach Shaw.